Welcome to our video series on the SCP Foundation's anomalous objects designated as SCP-7265 through SCP-7269. These objects possess unique and dangerous properties that have been contained by the SCP Foundation to protect humanity. In this video, we'll take a closer look at each of these SCPs and the measures that have been taken to keep them contained. So, sit back, relax, and join us as we delve into the mysterious world of the SCP Foundation. SCP-7265 is an anomalous organism designated as a Keter-class object. SCP-7265 appears as a small, unassuming mammal resembling a domestic house cat. However, upon closer examination, it is revealed that SCP-7265 is not of this Earth, and its internal and external anatomy is vastly different from any known terrestrial organism. SCP-7265 possesses several anomalous properties that make it extremely dangerous. Its primary ability is the ability to manipulate space-time within a limited radius around it. This allows it to create wormholes, teleportation, and the manipulation of gravity. Its ability is not limited to simple manipulation and it has demonstrated the ability to create small black holes, time loops and the ability to disrupt the fabric of space-time. It is uncertain if the organism is actively controlling these abilities or if they are a side effect of its biology. SCP-7265 is not hostile towards humans, but it is extremely curious, and it has a tendency to test the limits of its containment. It has been observed attempting to manipulate its surroundings and actively seeking ways to escape. It is to be noted that its containment procedures must be updated regularly and followed strictly to prevent escape and other potential disastrous consequences. SCP-7265 has a highly advanced nervous system, and it is capable of sensing changes in space-time. This allows it to detect when someone is attempting to contain or capture it. It is also able to survive in a vacuum and extreme temperatures, making it even more difficult to contain. The most concerning aspect of SCP-7265 is its reproductive capabilities. It has been observed to be able to reproduce asexually and at an alarming rate. Given the ability of each SCP-7265 organism to manipulate space-time, a potential containment breach and proliferation of multiple SCP-7265 instances would have severe and potentially catastrophic consequences due to the highly dangerous and unpredictable nature of SCP-7265. All research and testing must be conducted with the utmost caution and under the strictest of protocols. Direct contact with SCP-7265 is to be avoided at all costs, and only a select group of trained personnel are to be allowed access to its containment chamber. Any deviation from established protocols is to be reported immediately to the on-site commanding officer. SCP-7266 is a creature resembling a giant praying mantis, measuring approximately 3 meters in length. Its body is primarily composed of a dense, chitinous exoskeleton, and it possess a pair of large, sharp forelimbs, which it uses to capture and kill its prey. SCP-7266's anomalous property is its ability to manipulate the perception of time for any living organism within a certain radius of itself. The effect is triggered when the entity is in hunting mode, and causes time to freeze for any living organisms within a 100-meter radius. This allows SCP-7266 to easily capture and kill its prey, as they are effectively frozen in time and unable to defend themselves. The effect also extends to any objects within the radius, including bullets and other projectiles. SCP-7266's hunting mode is triggered by the presence of living organisms within its radius, and it will actively seek out and attack any such organisms. Once it has made a kill, it will enter a dormant state for a period of several hours. The Foundation became aware of SCP-7266 after reports of missing persons and bizarre animal attacks in a rural area. An investigation led to the discovery of SCP-7266 and its containment was deemed necessary due to its potential for large-scale loss of life if left unchecked. SCP-7266's containment procedures involve keeping it in a large enclosure with a 100-meter radius, surrounded by a time distortion neutralizing field. This field nullifies SCP-7266's anomalous properties and allows for safe observation. SCP-7266's diet consists mainly of large mammals and it is to be fed live prey every week to prevent it from going into hunting mode. Due to the nature of SCP-7266's anomalous properties, direct contact with it is to be avoided at all costs. Any attempts to study it must be conducted from a safe distance and with proper protective equipment. SCP-7267 is a force designated as Keter class. It is a highly dangerous and unpredictable entity that exhibits a wide range of anomalous abilities and properties. SCP-7267 is capable of manifesting in any location on Earth without warning, and has been observed to take on various forms and shapes, including that of a living organism, an inanimate object, or even a natural phenomenon. Despite its constantly changing appearance, SCP-7267 is always highly destructive and has caused widespread damage and loss of life in every instance of manifestation. The origin of SCP-7267 is currently unknown, and attempts to study or contain it have proven to be extremely difficult. 
SCP-7267 exhibits advanced intelligence and autonomy, and is able to adapt and evolve its abilities in response to attempts to neutralize it. In addition, SCP-7267 has been observed to be able to manipulate and control other anomalous entities, making it extremely difficult to isolate or contain. SCP-7267's abilities include, but are not limited to, control over gravity and other fundamental forces, reality manipulation on a large scale, ability to cause spontaneous combustion in living organisms, control over other anomalous entities, immunity to all forms of physical, energy and conceptual attacks. Due to its highly unpredictable and dangerous nature, all attempts to study or contain SCP-7267 must be carried out with extreme caution, and only with the approval of at least two level 4 personnel. In the event of a manifestation of SCP-7267, all available resources must be immediately deployed to neutralize the entity and contain any damage caused by its manifestation. SCP-7267 represents a constant threat to global security, and all personnel involved in its containment must be prepared to make significant sacrifices in order to neutralize or contain the entity. As SCP-7267's ability is highly advanced and constantly changing, it can be considered as a black swan event which could lead to severe consequences. In conclusion, SCP-7267 is a highly dangerous force, capable of causing widespread destruction and loss of life. Its unpredictable nature and advanced abilities make it difficult to study or contain, and extreme caution must be taken when dealing with this entity. Due to its capabilities, it is considered a Keter-class force of nature and is currently under review by the O5 Council for potential reclassification as a polyan. SCP-7268 is a simple, unassuming metal box measuring 30 cm by 10 cm by 10 cm. The exterior of the box is made of a smooth, stainless steel that appears to be highly reflective, even in low-light conditions. The interior of the box is lined with a thick, padded material that is resistant to fire and bullets. SCP-7268's anomalous properties become apparent when the box is closed and locked. Once the box is closed and locked, it will begin to emit a low-frequency humming noise that can be heard within a 50-meter radius. This humming noise is said to be highly soothing and has been known to cause drowsiness in those exposed to it for extended periods of time. SCP-7268 has the ability to protect its contents from harm. Any object placed inside the box, regardless of its size or composition, will be completely impervious to damage. This includes bullets, fire, acid, and even nuclear blasts. Additionally, the box has been shown to be completely immune to all forms of physical and electronic manipulation, making it impossible to tamper with once it has been locked. SCP-7268 is currently being kept in a standard containment locker at Site-19 and requires no special care or maintenance. The box can be opened and closed at will, but it is recommended that the box be left open whenever possible to reduce the spread of the humming noise. As a safe class SCP, testing with SCP-7268 has been relatively straightforward, and the results have proven consistent. Due to its protective properties, it is a useful object for storage and transportation of other SCP objects that have containment procedures requiring specific or hazardous conditions. SCP-7268's anomalous properties make it a valuable asset to the Foundation, and has been used in a variety of different scenarios. In one instance, SCP-7268 was used to protect a hard drive containing sensitive information from a live nuclear detonation during an on-site containment breach. The hard drive was able to remain inside the box for the duration of the detonation, and was completely unharmed. However, prolonged exposure to the hum has been known to cause sleep disorders, headaches and other symptoms. That's why it's recommended to use it with caution, and keeping the exposure time to a minimum. SCP-7269 is a location designated as a park located in a small, rural town in the United States. The anomalous property of SCP-7269 is that it is capable of altering the memories and perceptions of individuals who enter the park, creating a false and alternate reality for those affected. The park appears to be an average public park, complete with a playground, picnic tables, and walking paths. However, upon entering the park, individuals will have their memories altered to believe that they have been visiting the park for a significant portion of their lives and have formed personal connections with the park's features and other individuals within the park. These altered memories will remain even after the individual has left the park's boundaries. Individuals affected by SCP-7269's anomalous property will also perceive the park and its features in a different manner than they would in reality. The playground equipment may appear to be newer or in better condition, the picnic tables may be perceived as being made of different materials, and the walking paths may appear to lead to different locations. SCP-7269's effect on individuals who enter the park is not limited to their memories and perceptions. Individuals affected by the park's anomalous property will also experience emotional and psychological changes. They may develop a strong attachment and emotional connection to the park and its features, and may become agitated or distressed when prevented from visiting the park. 
SCP-7269's anomalous property can be neutralized if an individual is made aware of the park's effect on their memories and perceptions before entering the park. Additionally, individuals who have been affected by the park's anomalous property can have their memories and perceptions restored through the administration of class amnestics. SCP-7269 was discovered after reports of individuals displaying abnormal attachments to a local park. Further investigation revealed that the park's anomalous property affected the memories and perceptions of those who entered its boundaries. The park has been cordoned off and is under surveillance to prevent the spread of its anomalous property. Due to the potential for individuals affected by SCP-7269 to experience distress and emotional turmoil, access to the park is strictly controlled and monitored. Further research into the park's anomalous properties and potential uses is ongoing. In conclusion, SCP-7265 through SCP-7269 are a series of anomalous objects with unique and dangerous properties. They demonstrate the wide range of possibilities within the SCP Foundation's collection, and serve as a reminder of the constant need for vigilance and caution when dealing with these entities. This video has provided a brief overview of these SCP objects, but as always, further research is encouraged for those who wish to learn more. Like and subscribe to our channel for more SCP Foundation videos.